Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to Windcraft. Ouch, as I run into the side of a hill. <laughs> um, heading over to Bremlinger. Is that this place, Bremlinger? Yeah, because I want to buy some potatoes. Trying to get set up, get ready for some quests in the future. Make sure that we have the items needed. Let's get off the horse. So we don't have to come back uh, and backtrack too much. Because that just takes too much time. All right, way over here is where we want to go. Kind of missed our spots. We need five potatoes for a quest, and then we can head over to back to Detlas, and uh, should be able to finish up um, a few quests. I think three quests we should be able to finish up there, and then uh, we should be able to start a couple more as well. So, where is Detlas? We're not too far away, are we? I don't think so. Right along this road, yeah. So I've got quite a few things. These are all quest items. Whoops. I touched something in my inventory and my horse disappeared. Where where did you go? There you are. Stop. Just put it put it there. Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up. There we go. There we go. All right, everything is fine. Everything's all right. Everything is awesome. Anyways. So, into debt last we go which someone uh, mentioned you know I showed off like the airships before and I was like wow this is cool uh, someone was talking about those and apparently you can actually use those to get to gavel later on which sounds amazing I guess it teleports you over there that'd be pretty cool uh, although I'm, I'm sure it will like cost money like after the first use or something that would that'd be how I'd do it at least to get it'd be kind of like a transportation scroll I suppose teleportation scroll anyways drill how are you doing guy hello debtless citizen have you just hanging out at drills house wait you just walked up to him and told him I wasn't a cow it was that easy I assumed a person who was crazy enough to mistake a person for a cow wouldn't listen to reasoning so I just spent three years of my life in prison for nothing unless of course he uh, sent me something as an apology Nothing? Really? Not even a few emeralds? You'd think he'd feel guilty enough to at least give me something in return for three years of my life he wasted. Oh well, I guess I was just being optimistic. Hi guy, how are you doing, debtless citizen? So we got uh, 600 experience points uh, and we stole that guy's emeralds. <laughs> Fantastic. That's the way that I roll. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways... So we finished up the uh, confused farmer quest there. Let's head into Detlas. Servers are very dead right now, which is fantastic because I can read my ho ride. I can read my horse, yeah. The reading rainbow. <laughs> I can uh, ride my horse. Hello, Lacrona. I got your flowers. Ah, you've returned. And with the flowers, I see. Thank you very much. I'll bring your reward right away. Here you go. These boots should serve you well. Probably not because we're probably past them. Yeah, level 12 to 16, so I'll probably just sell those. Uh, and then we got to talk to you, good sir. Celeros, we have gotten your brother's will. Brilliant, it is a little bit dusty, but it will do the trick. Here, take these as proof of my gratitude. We have access to St. Rose's graveyard. So that's that graveyard by the uh, by that church there, which I don't really need to go to anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of past leveling there. We also got Celeros' um, ashes. Fantastic. Um, I guess we'll keep the boots for now, just as like a, a keepsake from the quest. Let's just go drop a couple of things off. We'll stick this in here, and we'll stick the boots in there. And that I suppose we can sell. All right. And then let's head out north of here. Uh, I'm actually, where do we talk to the guy for the quest? There's the Angry Village quest, which um, which is why I have the potions of drunkenness and the potatoes. Because uh, I really don't want to like go all the way back after going over to the Angry Village, which is over there. Hey, guy. Get out of here. Come on. Who are you? Yaya's apprentice. Yaya. Stop training people in your evil ways. Hello, assistant. Hey you, hopefully you aren't busy. My master and I need your help for something very special. Uh, don't tell anybody, but we are working on a prohibited potion and we need some ingredients. 
Uh, my master and I need eight bat ears, 16 bone meal, and three potions of healing. Level one to finish this potion. I'll be waiting for your return. All right. Well, it just so happens. Let's see. Yes, I do have those things. It just so happens I have already gotten eight bat ears, and we have tons of bone meal. 21, in fact. Um, I wasn't sure what kind of potions they would ask for, though. I kind of figured it was the lowest level ones, but, uh, you know, before, you know, they changed potions, so I wasn't, and it's not, like, updated in the wiki at all. So I wanted to make sure that we got the right potions. So let's go in there. By the way, someone mentioned that, uh, you know, these are really weak because they're only level 25 potions, and then obviously we can buy more expensive ones, we have to go other places though. I'm assuming like Almuj would sell level 30 since it's kind of like a level 30 town. So we need three of these, which are only like two emeralds each, not too bad. And then we should have everything that we need. Very good, which we should be heading to Almuj very soon. Uh, there's a couple of quests left in this area, mainly this one, and I think we should be able to do the the horse breeding one, if that's still a quest. Great, you have got, you got everything. Uh, hey, 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 thanks for your help. Here, take these emeralds as a reward. Fantastic, we got some emeralds. I do enjoy my emeralds. All right, uh, let's take a look at this. Although these cows are gonna get in our way, aren't they? Emeralds, get out of here. Get out of here, jerks. So many mushrooms. Or what are they called? Oh, yeah, they are wild mushrooms here. Someone's shooting at me. It's Yaya's Apprentice. Get out of here, jerk. God. <laughs> All right. Um, Angry Village. Talk to Torold in Ternaves. Torold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. that guy is somewhere over here. Get on the horse. Uh, can we do the quest? up here though before we head over to Tarold. I feel like we're like moving through things way too quickly right now. Oh dang, I had some work for you but I can't, oh, level 34. Okay, maybe we can come back to you very quickly. I'm surprised it's level 34. I thought it was like 20 something before you could do the, that quest. Um, if I remember correctly, Tarold. Torold or whatever was over here. Even though it says he's in Tornaves, and right now it says we're leaving Tornaves, I'm pretty sure he's over this way. That wasn't a good one. Oh, 36. Maybe that is. Oh, no. That's not one to identify. Never mind. That's not a good one. That's one of the base boring old ones. Torold. Maybe he was over there. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. There was a quest NPC over here, but this is for the Bob, uh, the the first quest with Bob. So he must be this way, right? He's right over here. Yes, there he is. I don't think he loaded in. That's the problem. Oh, I'm glad to see you. You couldn't have come at a better time. Uh, something horrible happened to a village nearby. Everyone suddenly fell into madness. My friend Lakal uh, was at the village when it happened. I don't know if he is safe in there. Uh, if he is, he probably is hiding from all the villagers. Would you fi mind finding him? He might need food or something. Follow the road towards the west-south. West-south? Why not southwest? That sounds awkward. You will find the village. Uh, be careful. All right. So we're going to go find this angry village, whatever that means. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. Suddenly, suddenly these villagers just all of a sudden become angry all at once. What did their did their sports team lose a, a, a game? Is is that what happened, or did they something get in the water? Some drugs? Who knows? Who knows? But anyways, I don't know what's going on here. I'm trying to just have some. Lovely little chat as we ride quickly over to the angry village. I forget what's down in there. I feel like there's something important. But I can't remember. I know we've checked it out. I can't remember what it is, though. 
There's also that thing, some sort of cave that I suppose just goes into the nethery area. So you got lots of angry villagers here, angry blacksmiths. And the way down was in this house, right? <laughs> Is that correct? No, that's not correct. I believe it was that house then that we need to go into. Is this correct? There's a pumpkin here for some reason. Mm, yes, maybe. Yes, we did it. And now we get to do some parkour. And if I remember correctly, this parkour was annoying. There's one jump that was just annoying. I think it was this jump. But we did it. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. And I brought the goods along so we don't have to do that again. Who are you? Why aren't you corrupted like all the others? Oh, I didn't think adventurers still entered this town. Uh, everything went crazy a few days ago. I had to hide down here. Please, pardon me for the difficult path I've created. This village was a fine and popular area amongst adventurers until they uh, found this cursed nether portal. The monsters started invading the whole province, and slowly the area got corrupted with madness and despair. I'm glad to see you. It seems like Ragnar's king is finally com doing something. Anyway, I greatly need food. Uh, I can't come out as most of them would kill me. Bring me three potions of drunkenness and five potatoes. This will let me survive for a few days. That's all I need. Well, good sir. I may be technically part of the king's army, but man, I am on my own. I'm doing this on my own time, uh, on my own accord. So don't be thanking the king. This is, this is me. I'm the one you should be thanking, guy. Anyways, <laughs> I'm glad to see that you could make it. You got everything. Fantastic. I've got a few emeralds uh, to pay you back. Please take them. Thank you very much for your... Uh, oh, look. This one potato already got corrupted. I better leave quickly before it happens to me. I am curious. Why are you not corrupted? What have you done? Oh, God. <laughs> to appease the... Uh, the I guess we'll just keep going this way. Okay, I still have hunger... Okay. The other thing I remember is that it's actually quite difficult to get out of here. <laughs> Although maybe not. Maybe it's just you gotta jump through here. Oh, but you can't because of the uh, the doors won't open. Uh, ch -ch -ch. are we gonna die here? Please don't die. There we go. There we go. We got a corrupted potato. We got some health. How did I? get I know that I've I've done this before because I've gotten stuck here I don't remember how I got out though nope that's not the way oh god uh let me figure this out <laughs> yeah I, I don't know how to get out hey we figured out how to get out and we're in Elkern okay it's a little farther away than I wanted to be I was looking over my quest, and it looks like there was one that I missed over in this area. So we're going to go do that real quick. It is the Pit of the Dead quest, which is right here. And if I remember correctly, it was a really easy one. You just kind of had to run down into the cave and come back out. Merloni, greetings. I wasn't expecting anyone to come here. I assume you don't know the tale of this pit. This is where they buried the corpses of the poor miners who discovered what is now named the Nethergate. Those that had not already died had to be executed due to uh, the insanity brought to on from, <laughs> from the corruption. Uh, their spirits still haunt this grave and infect the minds of people who disturb them. It isn't pretty. However, I heard rumors of those who were able to bathe in their waters and be accepted by them. To show no fear of the dead is to be admired. Maybe this shrine that I keep hearing about has something to do with it. It's apparently hidden deep in this into this hole. Uh, I have great respect for those who can conquer death and befriend the dead. If you succeed, I will give you something you might be interested in. Sounds fantastic. Sounds fantastic indeed. So let's head down here. And we'll go befriend death, I suppose. Uh, we'll face it 
in in the face and we will say hi my name is Zerk how are you doing today I would like to be your friend these guys they're shooting me I don't appreciate it usually I would just jump down oh yeah lots of projectiles oh yeah I, I don't like this I don't like projectiles no get out of here <laughs> oh our hunger our hunger is gone uh, this might be difficult. Oh, it fell. Maybe we were supposed to fall. You know, I bet we were supposed to fall. This? Come on, Windcraft guys. Fix your map. You took- you added fall damage back. You gotta be putting water down where you teleport people. That's not okay. It's not okay. I wanna let my health regen. Um, oh, we need to get to Almuj so we can get some better health potions, cause, uh, this is the highest I can get in Debtless, uh, level 15s that heal 72. That doesn't do much for us anymore at all. Uh, our health has definitely jumped up quite a bit. So, yeah. All right, I just I need to r make a run for it. See, what we, I don't remember if we have to like fight anything. I'm assuming that we do. Let's go bathe in the waters of death. Did it, is everyone our friend now? Yeah, see, I think that's it. It's a little bit more challenging than it used to be. But I think that is about it. And now we're done. Now we just head back here. Everyone's our friend. We have befriended death. Just hop back on here and we're teleported back to the bottom of the pit. How delightful. F friend is now... We're, n we're now friends on, on Facebook. It's Facebook official. It's pretty cool. Pretty dope. All right. Hey, Merloni. Uh, very impressive. Here's your reward. I found it a while ago while walking around Nemrak. It probably fell off a skeleton. Probably, since it's called Skeletal Legs. Another thing that we're a little overqualified for, a little overleveled for. But we can uh, sell it at market for a pretty penny. A pretty emerald. So now, now that we have all that done, we're pretty much done in this area and around Debtless. Uh, so we can head to the north. And we're level 34 now. Um, I got up to level four, 34 before we did that quest. Which means we can go do the uh, the horse quest. And then we can head up to Al Muj and spend some time in the desert and the canyons. Uh, and then after that, we should be able to head over to that way, Nisak. Um, or we could head out to sea a little bit. There are a few quests that we've already unlocked, like uh, Sister City and um, the one with the chickens on Rooster Island uh, and Craft Miss Chaos we've unlocked. Hello, Engser. I'm back. Well, hello there. You seem like just the kind of adventurer who needs a trusty steed, yes? Yes. Well, normally I sell my horses for a decent profit, but I actually need some help. I'll make sure to give you one of our finest horses if you do. Uh, bring me back 12 wheat for our horses. There are some merchants around Ragnai. Uh, walking a bit shouldn't hurt you, eh? Ha. Ha ha ha. So funny. Now, I remember seeing some wheat merchants somewhere else besides all the way in Ragnai. Well, I consulted the Windcraft map and uh, it seems that all the wheat merchants um, are right around like Ragnai and uh, the Maltic area. So, had to go all the way down there, got some wheat, but now we can turn it in. I uh, sure am glad you uh, to see you back, and with the wheat, uh, wonderful, here's your promised horse, you know how to use them, eh? Oh, dear god, okay, let me tell you the basics. You can train your horses by traveling with them. The higher quality the horse is, the faster he can go. You can obtain better tier horses by breeding them. Put two horse saddles in the crafting area in your inventory to do so. Uh, be careful if you do, uh, you could end up with a much worse horse. Uh, anyway, you can talk to the horse merchant over here to get more horses for your breeding. Good luck. So we got another brown horse, and I brought the uh, the horses that I already had from breeding previously. So, ooh, we got a black horse, and I have a black horse here. Holy crap. I just got a chestnut horse. What? 
<laughs> we have two chestnut horses now. I don't want to breed them together, though, because I don't want to get rid of this guy. Oh, but w wouldn't that be so cool if I could get a white horse if I bred these two together? I can't believe we did that. We've had so much bad luck with uh, breeding. I wonder if they changed the it at all with the new update. That is ridiculous. I can't... I can't even believe that that happened. My mind is shattered. The world is spinning. Also, it says armor. Can you actually get horse armor? Because that sounds awesome. I want to get some horse armor. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for today. Oh, man. I... Wow. I... Maybe, maybe we'll have to buy some horses soon. Um... I only have enough, I think I only have enough emeralds for one brown horse, but yeah, wow, I am shocked, I am super duper shocked, anyways, uh, I hope you have enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed my voices this episode, uh, I, I've kind of realized I haven't been doing a lot of voices for the characters uh, lately, so I tried to kind of up it up, up, up it a bit, up the voice level a bit I don't know I've trying to been doing some more I've been trying to do some more voices and I hope you enjoyed but that's going to be it next episode we will head to Almuj and start some quests there head into the desert so we'll see you then goodbye peoples